All right, so I like to start on top of my head here, and I'm gonna break the band out as I drop my shoulders in line here. All right, so again, remember if you're going into an activity, you wanna think more active to activate versus slower, which is more of a recovery movement for me. So continuing on on the ba uh, band breaks here, we're gonna go chest line and pull those apart towards your chest. Try to pinch your shoulder blades together here as you're doing these and bringing the bands back. On the next one, we're gonna do diagonal breaks here in front. So we'll hold it out, get it in your hands, break to your chest line. You'll feel that into your shoulders pretty well. And then switch those up. Try to do equal opposite components to your body, maintaining balance on both sides. Okay, after you get done with those, we're gonna do a no money sequence. So you just simply hold your elbows in, bring your palms out, uh, open face, put the band or resistance tube into your hand. Try to keep your elbows locked into your sides pretty well here. And then you're just gonna break the band apart, bringing it to your abdominals and pinching your shoulder blades together to return. On this one, I'm gonna turn around here so you guys can get an idea on the backside of the shoulder. Working on your deceleration muscles a little bit deeper, I'm pinching my shoulder blades together as I'm working this band back and forth. All right, so once you get off of the no money sequence, we're gonna do some shoulder breaks. Ideally, I like to have this right around shoulder width apart. And all I'm gonna do is rotate the band back Go as close as I can together, not breaking the band too far apart. And just keeping my shoulders in line and dropping and opening up my shoulder blades in the back side of my shoulders here. And just keep rolling and opening up as you go along. So something really easy you can do and actually really helps the activation into your shoulder muscles. I'm gonna take these and run them on the ground here and just kind of step on the band. So we're gonna do some shoulder rotator cuff rolls here. So we're gonna bring the band upward here, the cuff upward, and I'm gonna to come to a pretty even point in my shoulder line and my elbow and leave this out at about a 90 degree angle. What we're gonna do is come up, rotate upward, and then maintain control rotating down. As you get better with this, or get a little stronger with this, you can just start opening the flow up just a little bit quicker and getting a little deeper activation into your rotator cuff. Well, at least all four points of your rotator cuff because it's not just one single muscle group, it's actually different muscles into your shoulder that help the rotation come forward. So these are rotator cuff rolls. You get through about 10 or 15 of those guys, you're gonna be burning out pretty well and feel that. All right, we're gonna go back down to our ground series here. I'm gonna put both feet on the bands at this point. I'm gonna do some shoulder raises. So just cuffing down, uh, holding the cuffs, and then just present, bring the shoulders up, bring the hands up, hold, and then bring them back down. So you're just doing a simple side lift here with the band. And it actually is a pretty good little workout here as I go through it. Once you get done with that one, we're going to uh, do some snow angels, so you stay along the back line here, try to keep your scapular bones engaged. Bring them up, bring your hands up, rotate down, keeping your, uh, keeping your back muscles engaged again. Up and down. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one more exercise you can do with, without the clip being on. So we're gonna work on a row, or single leg, or a single, hand row here. So again, using the step line on the band, I like to bring it up probably about forearm to arm length uh, as far as the band is concerned. I'll come to a more of a split squat stance, uh, get a hold of the band here, and you're just gonna pull up and bring it into your lat muscle as you're coming up and then return back down to the ground. If you want a greater degree of resistance on the band, just shorten up the band length that you're gonna pull from. And then bring it up and back down. Again, remember to try to get both sides. So don't just do your right side or just do your left side, depending on 
what handed pitcher you are, try to stay equal and balanced through all your workout and exercise routine. All right, so that's our alternative J-band movements uh, using the resistance tubing without using the clip-on. Again, for more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out and show us a sign of support by hitting the thumbs up button. We appreciate you taking the time viewing and check out our other videos here. Maybe you'll like some of those. Until I shoot the next one, I'll see you later.